Yes, indeed. It's the Mix King, Ron G. You already know what it is. You checking out thisis50.com. What? You bitch? Look what you made me do. You can't touch me. Ron G, what's happening, baby? Yeah, yeah, what's good, what's good, you already you know, know. You gotta go on here and do your calling card real quick. Uh, yes, indeed, New York City, around the world, it's the Mix King, Ron G. You already know what it is, this is 50.com. Are you originally from New York, man? I'm originally from Harlem, man. H-Dub, okay. Polo Grounds, 150th Street, right across the street from Rucker Park, man. Yo, is that what, that's what the ensemble is all about. Every time I see you dead fresh. New Jack City? Nah. Yeah, <laughs> in real life, in real life. Nah, I just love the dress, man, you know. Really well, like, well, well, yeah. well, who you do it for? Uh, nah, I really just love the dress, man. You know, since I was like 16, 14, man, I used to get custom clothes made. You custom? Know? Custom clothes since made. Since you was how old? 16. How did you know to do that? I was a mixtape king. Nah. Okay, okay. I see what you're going. I see what you're doing. If at the age of 16, you were still a mixtape king. Yeah, yeah, man. I was just starting, so it was all beginning in them days, man. Mean Streets of Harlem, man. How'd you grow up, man? What's your background, dog? Uh, well, I grew up, you know, in Harlem, 151st Street, Polo Ground. Grew up listening to, you know, Brucey e. B, Kick Capri, um, Star Child, Star Ski, and then, um, you know, being across the street from Rucker Park, everything was like hip hop right there, so. Once I started seeing it, I wanted to be involved, and I just started making them mixtapes, doing the hip-hop and R&B blends, and phew, I was out. Had Miss Jones. Shout to Miss Jones. Before Miss Jones, Miss Jones? Yeah, before she was she was a star when I first seen her, so it was just like, let's do it. Yeah, you sound like you had a crush <laughs> right there, man, when you just said that. Oh, no, nah, I just I just love music, and she was able to sing, and she had the looks, and people used to call me, you're wrong, hook me up with Miss Jones. We focus on that music, man. Bottom line, <laughs> bottom line. <laughs> Word so, up. I, how you didn't even get interested in doing a mixtape DJ, being a mixtape DJ, though, man? Because, I mean, you was doing it when, like, people, it, it was almost kind of taboo. Well. Not, when, I, when I say taboo, I'm, it was brand new, I mean. Mm -hmm. Brand new. Inspiration, like my mom, she she used to be mad at me because I used to play like uh, Ronnie G and and uh, uh, all the old Grandmaster Flash and Melly Mel records, and she wanted to hear Lou Rawls and she wanted to hear The Temptations. So I just started doing blend tapes and um, start taking it real serious, and that shit blew up. And after that, I just never turned back, man. Was you blending like Lou Rawls in with I was, Melly Mel? Yeah, I was them? blending like Lou Rawls with Melly Mel, Lou Rawls with Biz Markie, Lou Rawls with Breakbeats. Uh, Michael Jackson loops and samples. That shit took me out of here. Like I was a self-made record label, man. Question, question. <laughs> like, who was the biggest artist that ever got like wind of your your mixtapes and whatnot? Like, yo, shit, man, you was fuck. Yo, man, you you Ron G. Well, I used to get that a lot. Um, shout to Raekwon, shout to Q-Tip and Chocolate Quest, shout to Nas. Like they were inspirations to me as well as I was inspiration to them. Mm -hmm. Just like the other day, Swizzy said, "Yo, man, I got all your joints." And you know, I, when I was grinding, I would listen to the Ron G. So it, it's like inspiration thrown back, man. Because wow, you would never think from just sitting in your room with a vision that you'll be around the world with mixtapes, man. And where has it taken you? And where you want to go? Well, it took me to do production. You know, I did all I have for Jennifer Lopez at L. Cool J. She sold five million. Um, I did We Thugging. Uh, you got that checked up? See the clothing line. Nah, <laughs> nah but uh, We Thugging. Um, I did a lot of stuff, man. I did Kelly Rowland, Stole, and Can't Nobody. I did a, a remix for Michael Jackson, One More Chance. Um, no, you didn't. Yeah, so you know, <laughs> featuring our Kelly. Shot the cows. What up, homie? You um, did a song for Michael Jackson. Yeah, no, you, you got to tell me about this call right here, man. Um, well, at the time, I was a producer on staff uh, on staff for Sony Records at that time through my man Dave McPherson. He used to give me these these songs and projects to do. He used to be like, "Yo, G, we need you. We need that. We need that Ron G shit on here." And I used to be like, "All right," and I'll go to the lab and um, I would just come up with mixes and blends and then just turn it into real actual music. Word, and word. and and got that check, so word, it was word. a good luck, you know. I remember the first time I met you, yeah, you man. was killing that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Too? And you, you were such a great guy too, man. You well, I, I try to stay that way. I stay grounded, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Gave you my headphones. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I still got the joints. I was gonna bring them and just show you, like I'm still got them. Yeah, to shot the fifty. I was, I was thinking to myself, like, man, you probably don't even remember. 
it was it was a coast to coast joint actually. Yo, it was coast yeah, coast yeah, coast yeah, coast yeah. Coast. So it was one. It was that joint where um you know just rocking out with them as you know they always been showing support, show support with them. So just doing this mixtape thing and then taking it to production and and traveling and doing all that stuff is just amazing to me. But I was able to to do what I really love to do. You know? Global Spin Awards, man. No what doubt. Was you doing that? I seen you two years in a row and whatnot. What did it mean to you? Were you nominated for something? Well, I wasn't nominated for nothing. I'm I hopefully, you know, next year, press, you know what I mean? But um they, they was honoring me as as a creator, you know what I mean? And um which is a, still a blessing because, you know, like I said, sitting in that bedroom doing mixtapes and that stuff taking you around the world till you getting crazy money doing production and you're getting to meet the people used to sample i used to just loop michael jackson now i was all of a sudden doing a track for him stuff like that and beyonce and i'm in the jay-z book for decoder for stuff that i did in the early days so a lot of the stuff i did man i just i'm just so humble i ain't running around with the torch in my hand like yeah you know what i'm saying Fuck that <laughs> stuff. The hand, man. you know Let but these niggas know man you the, you the decoder book man. yeah i'm in that joint for the decoder book yeah man <laughs> What your mama say when she found that out? Well, my mom's my mom's passed away. My mom's been dead since since I was like twenty. Wow. So I've been like, I didn't have like a real mother and father figure. I was just raised by the streets. I would say raised by the wolves mm. since I was young. Who but you but with a level head. Who you doing this for, man? Well, I'm doing this for actually for me. You know, my son is 24, 23 now. He's grown now. He's bigger than me. But I'm doing this to show, you know, the younger generation, actually, that you can live out your dreams. And, of course, for my mom, because when I was younger, I used to hear that. I don't want to hear this Bebop Scooby-Doo in my house. Bebop Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Y'all oh, know about that. <laughs> to do all of these things, man, and have it be blessing to be sitting next to you, you know, shout to 50 Cent, too, for, um, you know, giving me the love on the video at the Global Spin Awards word, and word. stuff like that. So it's all love, man. It's just a blessing to be able to be here doing this stuff and enjoying it. Now, you know what? Would you want to tell uh, Close Along uh, like a, a minute ago? No, well, I, when, when I first started uh, doing it, there was a, a acapella that 50 had a long time ago. And um, he was, I think he was signed to Corey Rooney and them over at Sony. And they was like having on some popcorn beats. And I was like, nah, he G'd up, man. Because I had a crib in Southside, Jamaica, Queens, and, and St. Albans at that time. And I was like, yo, nah, they got him on some cool out shit. He need that raunchy shit. And that one time one of my homies was going through like a trial. And I had uh, I had took the Biggie beat. Uh, um, it was, um, mm -mm, damn, I think it was... Uh, Kiss your ass goodbye. Right, and right. I had had the original and I put 50 on that shit. It was and I named it Look What You Made Me Do. Oh, if I pull out the gat and just push your wig back. I bet niggas are stand around saying, damn, who did that? I'm the type nigga that dare you to touch the jack. I'm the type to ball your gat and won't get his shit back. And 50 actually put that out on one of his CDs, and that was like a blessing right there too. So it's like it's just his love through that stream. You know what I mean? It's like we don't gotta see each other every day, it's just genuine love. 2014, man, <laughs> we at Ron G? Well, 2014, what I want to do is I want to uh, create my label. I'm working with some artists. I'm working with a group in Detroit called DMK. They like the new three girls. They like hot. I'm working with a, a few people out there in Boston. So just trying to keep myself branded. Um, you know, I got a company, an online marketing, actually promotional company called King Promo. You know, I still do the mix CDs, two mix CDs per month. I got four radio shows. So the grind never stops for me, man, you know. It just never stops. I just I wake up in the morning and breathe hip hop and R and B. Mixtape DJs, who you like today? As far as mixtape DJs, yeah, who you like? I mean, who doing anything? I mean, I, I really only really a few DJs that I really listen to right now, and one of them is Drama, and 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 sometimes like I I keep my ear grounded to different um, DJs, DJ Fade, or you know stuff like that. Um, so it's just a real few, but mainly the hip hop game changed the mixtape game changed now the mixtapes are more like albums before and i seen 50 you know he was saying that he, i give him credit for that because you know it was a whole nother situation back in the days now we don't run around in the hood anymore you know at the gas stations now it's just like download it get some sponsors and live but i just try to just listen to music that's out there that i think is inspirational as well as the djs as well as the mixtapes but now that it's albums it's like you just listen to albums that's free now so it's amazing now is there anything you want to tell this is for the audience man before we get about your dog well you can you know my twitter mix king 155 legendary dj ron g or king promo 155 instagram legendary dj ron g and you know for the younger generation coming up you know if you got a dream stay focused don't let it you know don't let nobody take that dream away for you don't get sidetracked it just stay focused you know what i mean and um stay healthy that's the name of the game i used to be like 240 or something before 
got it down a little bit. So now I'm, a, you know, people say, damn, you look like you're 25 again. Yeah. I'm 40 years old, you know, so I thank God for the blessings, you know. Right, right. And remember, uh, kids, too, if you got a nightmare, man, hey, chase that motherfucker, too, man. Make that <laughs> shit come true. You know, like I always say, you just can't say you're really something you got to be, man. Ron G, we over when we out this motherfucker, man. Real talk. Hey, don't something in my eye. Y'all go to Ron G, Young Jack Thriller. What? Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. <laughs> so nigga just shot the block up, dog. Word? He had the same shit you got on, dog. Word? I know you done did it, so get the fuck up out of here, you heard? I run with niggas that'll spray your strip and stay there and shit. You won't let us pump on your block, fuck it, we making it hot. I'm that nigga that call the shots with the ice that